How can you install Grammarly for Microsoft Word or for your other Microsoft Office apps? Hi there, my name is Brian Collins. Welcome to the Become a Writer Today channel. In this short video, I'm going to walk through exactly how you can set up Grammarly for Word, PowerPoint, or your other Microsoft Office apps. And I will also explain what you can do if you want to use Grammarly across any app on your computer, including the Microsoft Office 365 suite. Hope you enjoy the content. If you do, hit thumbs up. And to get more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now, some prerequisites. First thing you're going to need is an active Microsoft Office 365 subscription. That's because it'll enable you to download Microsoft Office 365 apps like Word, PowerPoint, and Outlook to your Mac or Windows computer. Secondly, you're going to need a Grammarly account. If you have a free account or a premium account, the steps are the same. However, the premium account has some additional tools that you can use. If you'd like a discount, I do have a deal, which I'll put in the link below this video. And that is an affiliate link, meaning an earn a small commission. Now, let me show you how to set up the Grammarly for Microsoft Office. So I've opened up Microsoft Word on my Mac. Now, the steps for this are pretty much the same for Windows. Previously, you used to have to go on to the app or add-in store for Microsoft Office 365 and add Grammarly that way. However, Grammarly has since stopped supporting the add-on that works directly with Microsoft Office 365. Instead, users should default to either Grammarly for Windows or Grammarly for Mac. Now, this may seem like a step back, but the great thing is that when you install one of these add-ons, it works in any writing application in any of the Microsoft Office 365 apps, whether that's Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, or something else. So I'm going to go ahead and install Grammarly for Mac. Basically, it'll prompt me to download a file to my computer once I've signed up with my Google, Facebook or Apple account. Then I'll simply log into Grammarly and Grammarly will run in the background and I can use this to check Microsoft Word documents. Once you've installed Grammarly, you should see a pop up like this appear on screen. It'll basically prompt you that Grammarly is up and running. Now I've gone ahead and pasted in a sample document that Grammarly provides into Microsoft Word. So I can access Grammarly in several different ways. Firstly, I can simply click on the red underlines and I will get suggestions from Grammarly about grammar and other sentence issues that I should review. Alternatively, I can look for the icon, the G icon or the number icon that will appear on screen. And if I click on this, it will give me the suggestions that I can work through one by one. Now, I know sometimes it can be a bit distracting to have all of these uh, errors and issues pop up when you're working on something. So what I would suggest you do is to click on the cog and you can turn off Grammarly and Microsoft Word for 30 minutes so you can work on your document. And then you can reactivate it when you want to check for other issues. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to use Grammarly on Microsoft Word. And the good news is when you install this desktop app for Windows or Mac, it'll work the exact same way across any of your desktop apps or wherever you write. 